friends, Gary here in my garage and Alex behind the camera. We just got a 1966 Buick Riviera, really excited about it. This is our first project car and what an awesome car, I think, to start with. This car is super cool. We picked it up on eBay from Ohio, had it shipped here. We've had two issues with it. It wasn't running, wouldn't start when we first got it. It was simply just the battery connection was bad. We cleaned that, and then it started. It runs. We did a little bit of a test drive, kind of to get a feel for the car, the mechanics of the car. It ran and drove and stopped good. The rear tire has been going soft on us so we're going to have to get that looked at and figure out why that's leaking but we'll fix that rear tire and then hopefully Okay, so sorry about the phone call there. I'm uh, selling some boat parts. Uh, been cleaning up, making room, so I got room to do this project here. But let me tell you a little bit more about the car, what I know of it. There was like 45,000 made. This year of car is the second generation, the first year of the second generation. So 63 through 65 was a certain style and platform, 66 through 69 was the second generation of Riviera platforms. This is the high-end Buick Riviera. It's the high-end luxury car from Buick at that time. Kind of walk around and show you some of it. I mean, I just love the style of it. It's got these little like, uh, you know, shark nose thing here going on. It's got the hidden headlights, which is mega cool. So they hide when they're off and then they'll flip down when they're on. Uh, just super cool. It's got a 425 cubic inch torque monster motor, um, 465 foot pounds of torque. Again, still still getting it into it here, but uh, looks real solid. Um, real excited about it. What else can I show you? I mean, look at this. How cool is that, right? I mean, look at these giant fins, you know? The chrome, it's got like trim everywhere. Come on over here. I really like this kind of trim design here, how it kind of, you know, flows. And in the back here, and so loving it. It came as you see it with nice surprises. I popped the trunk and it's kind of full of, you know, different parts. Apparently the guy was maybe trying to do some work on it in himself. Those look to be, you know, those are the, I'm sure the original hubcaps, or at least the style of the original hubcap. So it's got the chrome rims, but it's also got hubcaps there for, um, in the winter with steel rims. Typically people would kind of swap them out that way. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, um, more parts inside the car. So Alex and I, we're gonna have to go through this and figure out what all's here. Um, but parts of a 52 year old car, you know, nice to have because they're hard to find and sometimes when you do find them, they're pretty pricey. I think another really, really cool thing here that I just saw the other day, um, it says here, built expressly for Sam Smith. So Sam, I don't know where you are, but I got your car, buddy. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to try to see if we can research this and find out maybe who Sam is or, you know, maybe Sam's his children. But it'd be kind of cool to to know that, you know, your dad's car is still around and would like to see it once we get it done. But uh, a good project car. It looks real solid. And what we'll do first is back it out. We're gonna have to, you know, unpack some of these boxes, start to figure out what's there. Um, looks like a lot of trim pieces. We'll look to see what they are. Um, it looks like most of the trim's on the car, so I don't know, maybe it's just extra, or maybe it's the old stuff and they replace some of it, but we'll have to sort through what's good, 
what's not and what we got, what we don't got, that'll be part of it, right? We'll make an inventory of those pieces that we don't have. Those we'll have to purchase. But next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it out. So we're gonna unpack it, kind of sort through the, the parts, fi find out what's there. And then later today, we're gonna take, we're gonna jack the car up, uh, kind of start to assess some of the mechanical needs of the car. Again, we'll list those out and we'll be looking forward to showing you videos of some of the repairs that we're gonna do, this restoration process, and so more videos to come. So welcome back, friends. Uh, Alex and I have laid out all of the parts that we found in the car, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a recording of the parts so that we know what we got, and later when we're 